we can't really discuss the future without really discussing climate change and env environmental degradation. So our beaches are dirty. I think we will not put the blame on only the government. It's us as a country. We do all these rubbish. It's from our homes. Ghana is home to endangered species of turtles. Out of the six turtles we saw on the turtle monitoring session, five of them were dead. We could not scientifically diagnose what the cause of death was, but we felt there was a link when we observed the nature of beach with all the plastics and some of the turtles physically entangled in the plastics. People should be empowered mentally to know that they shouldn't litter this way. If you drink water, you shouldn't drop the plastic on the beach. You should be able to take it away, you know, and all these items when collected should be recycled to encourage the use of, of recycled uh, goods in our country. The beach is full with litter in particular plastic, but also other things. It only sort of underlines the need to clean up the beach because everybody likes clean beaches and nobody likes dirty beaches. If we, we love the people that we claim to love, our families, our children, our friends, then these are the things we need to do to show that we truly love humanity because this is a threat to human existence and that is why we're here today to be a part of this great movement. As you can see we've collected a whole lot of bottles. What we are going to do with these bottles right now is we are going to send them to our partners and what he's going to do is he's going to shred this and mix it with um, sand and it's going to be used for the construction of bricks and pavement. What we will do is this bricks and pavement will be brought back to improve the infrastructure um, situation in this community where it is needed. My motivation is nature and I love mostly animals and I know the plastic can kill them because of its toxic. My passion has increased to ways that we can help to care for coastal erosion by planting coconut trees along the shores just to reduce the erosion of our coastal structures. The European Union stands close to Ghana in its uh, ambitions to achieve a cleaner environment for, for its citizens. We will always be there to support because this is a collective effort and uh, we have to put our effort, our faces and our commitment to this.